Hey, how's it? I'm your host, David Lim of Discover Digest Korea. I've been a frequent traveler to South Korea since 2005. It all started with my first group tour. I traveled with a bunch of Korean drama and K-pop enthusiasts. Although I was born and raised in Korea until I was 7 years old, it was the first time I saw different parts of Korea. We ate a variety of Korean cuisines, watched concerts, checked out drama sites, visited interesting events, and met really cool people along the way. I had an amazing time, and it was the most fun I've ever had, and thought there's no way to top the experience, until I visited Korea the following year, and the year after that, and it's been like that ever since. I'm in love with Korea. It's dynamic. There's lots to do and see in this super dense country. It's been known mostly for TV dramas and K-pop music, but our show will have myself and the lovely co-hosts that will take you on this exciting journey to seek and find the cool and fun Korea. So here we go, right here on Discover Digest. Uh, let's get something to eat. No, I'm starving. Yeah, let's, let's but, do it. But I was thinking maybe we should go somewhere that you haven't really got to check out. So. Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, I'm I'm excited. Well, actually, yeah. should I be excited or apprehensive? No, no, no. It's just uh, it's the Han River. And, uh, okay. We're going to go and check out the Han River. And you know what's cool? Is that they do delivery service to the Han River. This is Pampo Hangang Park. Okay. Yeah. So um, right next to the Han River, right? Right next to the Han River. Okay. I see a lot of skateboarders. Yeah, um, I mean, interesting. There's some casual bike riders, but I also see the serious cyclists as well, like wearing full spandex and <laughs> helmets and everything. Some food vendors down yeah, there. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. I want to wow. check that out. This is a busy place. Well, this is the um, Korea has bridges, uh, lots of bridges connecting North and South Seoul. So we're right underneath the Pampo Bridge. This is the Pampo Bridge here. And you know what's cool is that this bridge, Pampo, is the only bridge that has a top layer and a bottom layer oh, for two levels, two for levels traffic, yeah, yeah, for traffic, yes. So you see that bottom part right there? I'm actually seeing kind of a lot of uh, seaweed and, <laughs> and well, uh, debris. It, before, I mean, I kid you not, Han River, it, it, uh, it literally flooded when it rained a lot yeah, yeah, in, yeah. Uh, in August. Uh, Korea has a monsoon season too, Okay. but this, bridge would actually go underwater and uh, they call it the sub bridge sub water bridge yeah i hope they have some kind of warning you're like yeah, i'm pretty mind. sure they do <laughs> the cool thing is that right now we're seeing the han river right in front of us yeah. there is the sun is directly in front of me so we're seeing a good reflection on <laughs> so this is a public park where they could have performances here people sit here and they uh, watch live performances being done right in the backdrop of Hong Kong. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, there's a, this must be a dating course because I see a lot of couples, um, you know, and, and friends. You see those tents? Uh-huh. Like camping tents. I think yes. they're just kind of being away from the city or their home. They want to have like a nice view of the Han River, so they come to this park. I'm getting kind of hungry though. Are you? I worked up an appetite getting that massage. You know, I, I am hungry too, but I'm... Angie told me not to eat because she's gonna send. Uh, she wants to send me this powdered drink or whatever. Uh -huh. I don't know. So I'll get that from her later, I guess. Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> You're hungry. I, I want oh, oh, yeah. okay. I want a hamburger. No, that guy just has a hamburger. Yeah, he just okay. But just, I'm, I'm telling you. I just saw. I just saw that guy oh, with the hamburger. I, okay. Can I, can I get one? Well, you know, I Do got a little time? surprise. Maybe. Yeah, okay, check this out. I wanted to show you or even our viewers that Korea has this really cool service. They have this thing called quick service where. You know, they, they uh, drop off things for you all over the place in the city, all over the country. Even food, not just pizza like us back in Hawaii or right. in, in the States, but we're talking about fast food, uh, we're talking about, uh, you know, like Korean entire dinner, you know, like with the side dishes and all, delivered to you, even like uh, black bean noodles, South Korean. Hey, I see a delivery moped right over there, check that out. Even in a park, you don't even have to be at home. Yeah, There's that's super convenient because normally when you go to a park, you gotta plan everything ahead, you gotta grab it all and then come to the park. But exactly. if you go, nah, let's just go to the park, exactly. I'm getting hungry, yeah. let's order something. Yeah, you don't have to go anywhere. You can just be right here and just call upon a delivery service. We're gonna get food delivered right here at the uh, Pampo Park and to enjoy a good American meal like McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> and have a good American meal. Good in hearty South meal like in McDonald's. South Korea. Yeah, okay. We're starving. Yes. We need to get some food delivered. Yeah. And I'm kind of excited. Okay. I've never gotten McDonald's delivered to me before. 
Let's do that. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna make the call right here. Yeah, so I looked online, I found a number to McDonald's, the delivery service, so yes. I'm gonna give them a call. So you could see the actual process of me ordering food. And if you guys already know the menu, do you already know the menu? So I got my mom some kind of food, right? 네 주문 처음인데 여기 혹시 그 반포 한강 파크에 배달 되시는가 해서요. 아 그렇군요. 알겠습니다. 네. I can't, I can't do it. So much for that idea. You know, McDonald's and Burger King they do deliver, uh -huh. but they have their limitations. But yeah. I, remember the last time. You had a black bean noodles with me back in Hawaii. Yeah, lots of cake, right? Lots of cake. Well, I was thinking, why don't you try the Korean version, and I have the delivery done right Ooh, here. Not gonna say no to that, man. That sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. All right, so I'm gonna order jjajangmyeon right now. Yeah, 여기 좀 짜장면 배달 좀 부탁드리는데 저기 네네 그렇게 하고요. 그 김치하고 그거 이제 좀 충분히 주십시오. 예, 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 예. 그렇게 주세요, 그러면. 네, 예, 감사합니다. <laughs> All right, yeah, what's, yeah. That? what's happening? I just ordered jjajangmyeon for you, me, and for my entire... Oh, I forgot! Angie's gonna give me something to... Anyway, so we have uh, jjajangmyeon that's gonna be delivered. Yes. I got it. I got for you, me, and for our crew right here. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, yeah, black bean noodle at the Han River. Woo! Korean style, man. This is kind of cool. Um, they got the it's World Cup season, so they're playing a game right here in public. This is a um, pretty big screen too, by the way. It's pretty Jeez. large. I think they're at uh, Italy and England right yes, now. Yes, Italy versus England. But I do notice a lot of people are like, uh, like you said, they're drinking. They're yes. drinking beers with straws. Yeah, they have uh, uh, the OB right, there, right out, OB, laid out. Um, OB Golden Lager. They're they're laid out. They're sleeping. They're, they're Shit, napping. Man. I see. Uh, I even saw some people with like um, blankets, not necessarily sleeping bags, but it is getting a little bit chilly. I think pretty it's, chilly. It's kind of it's, it's cozy to just chill and hang out, huh? Yeah. Couples. If you can't have a tent, you can bring umbrellas. But yeah, I'm kind of amazed. There's a lot of camp or tents out here right now. There's gotta be at least hundreds of tents here, like um, mm -hmm. at least hundred because there's a large lawn or a field. There's, out here. there's actually multiple fields, and multiple. all of them are pretty. Full of tents, families, lots of kids, people jogging around, and um, it's pretty cool. Today is a, is a weekend here right, in Korea, right, so right. This, this wouldn't happen on a normal weekday. This uh -huh. is like happening on a weekend too. So, and like you said, the beach is two and a half hours away. So for them to kind of, you know, Probably have, have like an up, hours, outdoor yeah. day, yeah. camp a little bit yeah. on the weekend, Sunday beach day. I would think that this is their mini vacation away. Like uh, you know, instead of taking an actual vacation, this is like this is like a mini vacation, a weekend where they could spend time with their friends and family yeah. and uh, they obviously can't go too far because you know uh, it's a short you know Saturday Sunday how, how much can you do on a Saturday exactly. Sunday exactly right? so they would do this it's a strange I mean, blend it right? does but right? yeah the beautiful sunset yes. against the backdrop of the city yes with a huge TV screen yep and they're camping <laughs> and they're camping <laughs> I do like Hong Kong it's a it's um it's a symbol of Seoul and it's you know like um you know, I noticed you know, every city has its river, and that's how they uh, establish a city and whatnot. But this Han River, it's um, it's a long stretch of river all all along the coast of Seoul, and and uh, it connects two different types of Seoul. The north side being that it's um, it's more more older town looking, mm -hmm. and then the south side is more the newly developed city part. So. It's bringing the old and the, the new together, and it's kind of like it also draws a line at the same time. And there are bridges all uh, across the yeah, highway. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. cool. I see a convenience store over there. Maybe that's where they're getting their beer from. Yeah. Beer time. Beer time. Drinking, yeah. everyone? How many am I getting? Two each? Five? Five total? All right. I'm gonna go to this mini stop over here and since we're getting food, I'm in a great mood. 
and we're gonna do something else that's also a favorite pastime of mine which is buying some drinks and we can't do this in Hawaii either so I have to take full advantage of being able to drink alcohol in a public area but I'm going to be responsible when I do it Okay, so right now I am going to send David and Ross a little present because um, it's about dinner time. I think they're going to be hungry pretty soon, but David was mentioning to me that he's been kind of, you know, watching what he's eating, not in terms of weight necessarily, but health reasons. And actually, I discovered something, so I wanted to send this to him. It's like a very Korean product, all about convenience. So they're like these little packets, we call it sengshik, right, in uh, Korean. But they basically have like 45 different minerals or nutrients, and so you just gotta mix it, shake it up with water. So I'm gonna see, send him this little care package full of packets he could share with whoever he wants to. Not to mention, I'm sure Ross will probably want a taste of this as well. Now, how am I gonna get this over there? You know. I don't want to have to like get out of my house and go all the way to the river or to the park. Oh, he's here actually right now. So I called Quick Service, which is a very convenient service where there's a guy that comes on a little scooter and he basically takes your stuff and delivers it to wherever you want for a pretty reasonable fee. You can choose to pay him in advance or have the other person pay. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to make David pay for this because this is my gift to him. So let's go open the door and give this over to the Quick Service guy. There. Hello. 네, 안녕하세요. 아, 그 반포 반포 한강 공원으로 가 주시면 돼요. 전화번호 혹시 제가 드릴게요. So I'm going to give um, David's cell phone number because they're at a park so it could be kind of hard to find, right? So if I give him the phone number where he can call and tell them or they could describe to him. 네, 잘 부탁드립니다. 감사합니다. Piece of cake, so convenient. I almost forgot how convenient it was. So now he's gonna take it over. I'm thinking with the distance, it'll probably take like 10, maybe 15 minutes. And because he's going by a scooter, he can cut through all the traffic, weave in and out, right? And that's why they use scooters, so that traffic doesn't slow them down. But that way, David and Ross can have a healthy, uh, maybe low calorie, slightly low calorie dinner that will hopefully put them on the right track to health. But I did my part, so I feel kind of good. So, so we got our uh, food delivered here. Thank you. Thank you. So awesome. We got our chajangmyeon ordered right here at the Han Pampo River Bridge Park. Six thousand five hundred. Oh, got our jajangmyeon. And we got our um, sweet and sour beef, which has a sauce in there, some mandu, and kimchi. <laughs> We're getting some draft beers too to go along with our jajamyeon. What a great experience. We're getting food delivered to us, draft beer at a park, the sun's going to set. I'm so sad I have to go home tomorrow. Wow. Yay! Very good. Thank you. I thought she was giving it to me for free. She gave it to me before I gave her the money, but oh well. What a deal. It's three three thousand one each, so about twelve dollars for all of this. Whereas you can get one of these for twelve dollars at a baseball game in America. Jeez. I'm never leaving. Oh wait, no, I just said it was. Hamsanga, thank you. Yay, let's go. Oh, look at the sun. Sunset. That's crazy. It looks like a lot of people are going to stick around until after dark, but whereas we're just getting started, so we'll see how that happens. 
back with the beers. Hopefully they're, the food's there. We're waiting for us to start eating. And it looks like they're already eating. Thanks a lot, Dave. Thanks a lot, Dave. Oh. Did you wait? You didn't even wait for us. Oh, I'm sorry. It just, it was getting cold, so we couldn't. It was getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are getting warm. Should, should I start drinking them? Okay, so what we got here? So we just got food. Black bean noodles yes. delivered right here at the Pampohan River Park. And it's time to eat. Right? Everything, man. We got Everything. Manu, yep. Sweet sour pork. I, I kind of went overzealous and kind of oh, just, yeah, okay. just uh, got to start ripping things up. But you, hey, you got beer. And the most important <laughs> part of the meal. Oh, that kid's oh. attacking me with a balloon. That's fantastic. <laughs> Alright, Dave, here you go. Thank you very much. Right. A beer. You all know you're here. Very Cheers. Well. Cheers. Discover Digest. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Oh. No, <laughs> <laughs> This is what I just sent me, I think. Man, pachuk. Come on, da. Come on, Yeah, you do. She's been talking about this drink, and I, I'm sorry, Angie. I got hungry, so I couldn't wait for it. Uh. <laughs> but she's been talking about this uh, meal replacement, and I guess the main thing is she's living a healthy lifestyle. So I'm just joining up on that too. But this is the, uh, the yeah, this is the product that she's been talking about. You don't 25 health meal replacement powder. So there is like vegetables and fruits in here. Obviously, she probably would have freaked out if I if she knew I was eating this. I won't tell her. Okay, but anyway, but I'll definitely try it out, Andy. Thank you very much. Um, I'm definitely gonna try this out soon. This, you know, I, I heard that you could. I mean, I I, I want to find out more, but yeah, I think uh, you could definitely get this in the water as well. This is a, this health benefit is that you know how like a lot of vegetables or or vegetables when they get cooked it, it loses its nutrition. This is uncooked. Uh, powder format of uh, fruits and vegetables and they made it into this uh, fine powder that you can mix with milk or water to have milk with uh, meal replacement. So I'm going to actually try this well, as soon as I get home, maybe try it out in the morning for breakfast and so therefore I can kind of slim down and have a better figure. But, but then you won't, be, you won't be as happy as when you're eating all of this kind of good food, man. You know, maybe that, that may be true, but at the same time, this is healthy. Right. Healthy living. So, Definitely. So I want to try that. Thank you very much. Oh, I feel so much happier eating. So much happier. There's potato in here. Yeah. Alright guys, uh, we just got done with our dinner and watched the World Cup game. And as you can see, it's already night. They're just about to start a light show right here at Pompo Bridge. Did you ever get yep. to see this? Uh, no, from what I understand, right off the side of the bridge, they're going to spray jets of water or something? Something like that. So okay, okay. We're going to let you see that yourself. So, it starts. There's a lot of people here waiting for the light show and the water show to happen. So, we're going to sit right in the front row seat and show you the Pompo Bridge water light show. Another unique experience here in Korea. That's right. All right, guys. That's pretty much round up our day. We spent a lot of things doing together. We spent a lot of things doing together. <laughs> <laughs> we did a lot of things. Doing, no, 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 no. 
We spent a lot of time doing things. Okay, okay, okay there we go. Yes, okay, okay, all right, all right. Hey, this pretty much round up our entire day. Ross got his arm waxed and part of his leg. Got tortured at the massage place, and I got my feet eaten by a little by fishes. Some, by some uh, carnivorous fish. Yeah. yeah. We're sitting next to the Han River. We ordered delivery. Yeah. Uh, got to watch a World Cup soccer game. Yeah. And I bought some beers from the convenience store, <laughs> and we had a nice drink in the park. Yeah, and we ended the night with Pumpo uh, Bridge, the light show, water light show that they had. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this week's episode of Discover Digest. And please join us next week, and thank you very much for watching the show. Aloha. Peace. Hey, do you see that CNN cafe? Uh, I'm pretty sure they have a lot of news reels playing. Actually, do you, think, do you think they serve a lot of coffee so you don't fall asleep while you're watching the news? <laughs> That's weird. Is, is it really this CNN? This is your headline news with your coffee. Yeah, do you, is that really CNN? Yeah, I mean, well, it says CNN. It looks like the CNN logo too, huh. right? Well, I, yeah, I saw a lot of restaurants that had like Starbucks type font, but mm -hmm. it wasn't Starbucks, so I don't know, man. <laughs> Is that whole thing a cafe? I, w I would think that if I walk in there, some sort of the coffee barista person is sitting in a, a news counter and reading reading your menu for you like a news. Welcome to CNN. Welcome to CNN Cafe. Here's David. your, would you like a coffee, large, black? David also. Lim just walked in today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. And then, and they kind of wrap up with their paper, like stack it together. Here's your receipt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>